Hey guys, Pixlitip here for my review of the latest Pixmon update. This update isn't actually out yet, I got a beta from the Pixmon devs, so we're gonna take a look at all the additions that mainly feature stuff or only feature stuff from Generation 7. So it's pretty exciting, if you guys are excited be sure to leave a like and I'll let you guys know probably in a community post or on Twitter when the official update comes out, or you can check the website or Discord links down below. Alright, so first I just want to say sorry for lack of uploads, school is kind of crazy right now, just had my SAT on Saturday, it's kind of wild that SAT is on Saturday, on SAT or day, I'm, I'm pretty sure that's intentional, but yeah, it was alright, um, I can't really talk about it on the channel because they might cancel all the scores, um, but if you took it as well, I hope it went well. And if you're taking it like next year or in a few years, good luck to you, my dude. Anyways, yeah, next few months are going to be hectic at school because it is my last year of high school, college apps and everything. But come like Christmas time, it should be a lot more chill. And then like next April, even more chill. But let's dive right into the video. So first off, we got the Gen 7 starters. We got the Rowlet line the Litten line, and the Poplio line. So for Rally, we got our boy Rally and our boy Dartrix and then Decidueye. These guys look so cool. Rally and Dartrix can only fly, um, so they're always going to be in a flying animation even when they're idling, so they can't be on the ground. Whereas Decidueye, who I have here, um, both has an idle animation and as well as a moving flying animation, which you can see there. They're all really cool, um, these are my favorites, um, as you know from my Ultra Sun and Moon series, which is the next roleplay being uploaded on the channel. Um, Decidueye is just so cool and I hope he gets added in Smash, although I have a feeling it might be Incineroar. I don't know, we shall see, but all these models are awesome. I just wish that Rally and Dartrix did have animations where they were on the ground, but maybe that is something that will be added in the full update. Who knows? Alright, so then we got Litten, Toracat, and Incineroar. Dude, look at Incineroar's powerful grab there. If this guy doesn't look like he could destroy your soul with that fist of his, then I don't know who does, because he looks really menacing, and I love his fire belt and everything about him. It's so cool. And I really like the Litten and Toracat models as well, because Litten looks so adorable here. I actually like this model more than the endgame model. I think it really suits Litten. And Toracat looks awesome as well. Yo, I don't know, I'm a Rallet guy, but these models are kind of tempting. Kind of tempting. Uh, anyways, then we got Poplio, Brione, and Primarina. I almost forgot that for a second. Um, these are probably the most neglected of the three Gen 7 starters, but I really like them. I think Pri uh, Primarina is really cool looking and so is Poplio, and the shading on these guys is pretty different from Rowlet and uh, Litten, it's more obvious, and I really like it. It makes it more differentiated from the actual in-game models, and Primarina looks awesome. Alright, so then we got Bouncy, Steeny, and Tsarina. Dude, can I just point out how derpy Bouncy and um, so, ah, and, uh, oh, I'm having, I just said it, Steeny, Steeny, Bouncy and Steeny, <laughs> their mouths are so derpy and I love it. Oh my goodness, they just look they're, like they're constantly surprised or shouting or happy, and it is absolutely adorable. I love it, and I mess up Gen 7 names a lot because they haven't been out that long, I haven't gotten used to them. Tsarina looks really cool, I love the crown on her head because she is royal, hence the Tsar in her name. I'm just gonna hit up a time set O, oh, and then we got Marianne and Toxapex. These guys look awesome as well. I've always found these guys super cool. I'm not sure if their unique ability is in the game. Um, I forget what it is. There's something about them that makes them quite useful in competitive battling. I'm not sure if all the abilities have been added yet. Abilities coming soon, alright, but I assume in the new update they will have um, had that finished. Alright, so then we got Mimikyu and Mimikyu's animation is actually terrifying. Alright, I'm not gonna like, I I'm just gonna let you guys see it for yourself because I don't know how to describe this in words. This is just, <laughs> oh my god. 
<laughs> Dude, I would not. <laughs> I love Mimikyu, but this is even more terrifying than in the games. Wow, okay, that is very spooky. So, then we got Cosmog and Cosmoem. So, Cosmoem looks like this kind of glitchy because he has translucent parts, um, and my shaders make it look odd. But here's a screenshot of how it looks without shaders, so you guys can see that it does look fine, it's just my shaders bugging things up. Alright, so then we got Type Null and Silvali. A lot of Gen 7 Pokemon were added this update. A lot of people were thinking it would just be the starters and maybe some Alolan forms, but they went above and beyond with all of these awesome additions. So, Type Null and Silvali, I actually have a Silvali here because um, Silvali's ability I think is called RKS system, um, and it's supposed to be like Arceus. It's supposed to be a cheeky joke um, or cheeky reference, but in the games you can change Silvali's type, just like Arceus, with memories, and they currently don't have any textures, but they do work, so if I use a grass type memory, Silvali will change to green, and he had an electric memory on him before, so let me just pick that up, and now he's back to electric. So that's really neat, and the texture does change accordingly, which is awesome. Cool! Alright, so let's dive into the Alolan forms, and the devs actually want input on how to put these into the game, because they're not sure how their spawning would work. I think my, I guess, suggestion would be to have them spawn in like according biomes, so like Sandshrew in ice biomes or ice related biomes and Rattatas at night instead of the normal Rattata at day, stuff like that, like a Raichu and Executor on beaches. I think that's a pretty obvious suggestion, but if you guys have any imaginative or unique ideas, put them in the comments and I'll forward them to the devs or the devs will see them themselves. Alright, so we got Alolan Rattata and Raticate looking awesome as ever. Rattata doesn't change much from the base model, but Raticate does a lot. He fattened up a little bit, but that just makes him an even bulkier boy. So then we have Sandshrew, and Sandslash does not have an Alolan form yet, um, but that's likely because this is the beta when the full update is released. Alolan Sandslash should be in the game. Um, because I don't think Pixelmon's ever um, released half an evolution line, but uh, so I imagine that that trend will continue and he'll be finished for the full update. Then we have Grimer and Muck. These guys look amazing. Muck especially. Oh my goodness, he is terrifying, but terrifyingly awesome, might I add. So. We got Geodude, Graveler, and Golem, and Golem is actually gigantic. This is a pygmy one, look at this. Ginormous. <laughs> I don't know if that's his actual size in the games, but if that is the case, this guy could destroy a few villages, that's for sure. And same thing for Sandshrew as well, I think his sizing needs to be fixed because, um... <laughs> I don't know if a Sandshrew can get that big, but maybe a Lolan Sandshrew is a lot bigger, who knows. Who knows? Wait, let's just look at the size comparison. All right, here's a ginormous sand slash. Here's a ginormous sand true. All right, so that's something that probably was a quick bug or like scaling issue, super easy to fix. But I thought, I thought it was quite funny nonetheless. All right, so then we got these aren't Alolan forms, but we got new SMD models for Rhyhorn, Rhydon, and Rhyperior. These look amazing. And I, th I believe that Rhydon was Mr. M's favorite Pokemon, and Mr. M was the creator of Pixmon, so it's a pretty cool, like, nod to him that he was finally remodeled. Um, and I believe that almost all Pokemon have smooth models now, apart from a few cases like Executor and Raichu over there. Alright, so then we have Diglett and Dugtrio, and there is actually a bug with Alolan Dugtrio, because the normal Dugtrio also has hair um, by accident, and the Alolan one is hair too. I believe that's a quick fix, it's probably just because, like, a model overlaying issue, um, but it's quite funny that we get dark-haired Alolan Dugtrio. Not too shabby, it's, it's a look, man, it's a look. Alright, so, then we finally- oh, it's my Silvali, I didn't even realize you were out. Hello, boy. <laughs> Alright, so, then we got Alolan Meowth, and this guy <laughs> looks really scary. Like, I don't know what it is about him, but <laughs> his face just looks like a little bit off, 
Um, but I, I think that's just like an Alolan Meowth thing. Alolan Meowth is just a little bit of a spooky boy. Uh, I just found it quite funny. Alright, so that is all the Pokemon and Alolan forms. We still got the giant Sandshrew over there. Sorry, I'm getting distracted. Anyways, I put Alolan forms here that don't have, um, or Pokemon that don't have Alolan forms yet. So it, that leaves Persian, Sand Slash, Vulpix, Ninetales, Marowak, Executor, and Raichu. And I believe that Persian and Sand Slash will get Alolan forms by the time the update comes out because, as I said, Pixmon doesn't leave evolution lines unfinished. But these guys will probably be in a future update, especially because Executor and Raichu do need remodels. But I did see they were working on the Alolan Executor model in the Discord, so that is a possibility. Anyways, that is all for the update. Sorry about a little bit of lag, and sorry once again for the delays in uploads. There will be a Super Mario Party video coming out this week, and hopefully later in the week there'll be a new episode of Pokemon Ultra Sun and Moon, the roleplay. Yeah, so that's the plan. Might not happen because college apps are coming up and it's really stressful, but I'm trying to manage as much as I can. Anyways, that is all. Leave a like if you are hyped for the release of this update. Give feedback on the devs for what to do with Alolan forms, and subscribe if you're new. I'd greatly appreciate it. And I'll see you guys all for Super Mario Party probably on Tuesday or Wednesday. Alright, see you guys next time. Bye bye. Thank you.